welcome back to my channel in today's video you guys are going to be coming on with me as a 20 year old college student girl in atlanta and no, i'm playing <laughs> today's video you guys are just going to be coming along with me to run my little errands get my life together clean the crib do some laundry i have like a couple of errands that i need to run like grocery shopping and um i want to go to ikea and then sephora this morning i went to the gym i got up and went to the gym and then i went to tropical smoothie to get the acai bowl that was my first time ever going there to get an acai bowl and it was actually like really good very picky about like acai bowls because sometimes they taste kind of, like they taste kind of bland so i was kind of scared like that was gonna be the case because i've been to that smoothie place before and I didn't really like like their smoothie. Maybe it's because of what I've got, but it wasn't like sweet. So I was like kind of like, I hope their acai bowl is good. So yeah, I got that. Um, came back and ate it. It was hella good. Too good. Go get it and don't walk. I just got out the shower. I washed my hair because y'all saw I was looking dusty. So y'all know how last video I was talking about how like I didn't know what I wanted to do with my hair. Like I wanted to take the wig off, but I didn't want to do my hair i just took it off i took the wig off because i just i couldn't stand it my head was itching my forehead was itching like i just could not do it anymore so then i just took the wig off and i'm rocking my natural hair for now i will be probably getting it done next week for my trip so the curls are not going to be here for long even though I might change my mind depending on how my hair acts because I don't like doing my hair but depend it's it looks good right now honestly like the curls look good so if it decides to dry nice then maybe I'll keep the curls in and then I also tried this new product in my hair that I actually was like surprised it worked because like this brand is like known for like perfume and like lotion and stuff like that so they came out with this new like leave-in conditioner which i don't think was gonna work for my hair but it actually like was really good with my hair. like it really works good with my hair like my hair smells hella good it smells so, so good and then on top of that when i was putting it on like it has so much slip like it was making my hair so soft and it smells so good so like i'm definitely gonna keep using this product but yeah, Sol de Janeiro has sent me like some PR and they sent me their new, uh, what is it? They sent me their new leave-in conditioner. This is not sponsored by the way, but yeah, they sent me their new leave-in conditioner and then they sent me a bunch of like the little bum bum creams. So, yeah, so I was washing my hair and I was like, Maybe I should like try it because just to just to see like if it would make my hair smell good, not to like make it, you know, curly or define my curls or anything like that. I was just making it. I mean, I was just using it to see if it would make my hair smell good. But then when I started using it, it was like actually like working good. Like, you know, it's crazy. y'all. That's the only leave in that I used in my hair today. I used that gel and then a foam and my curls look define they look great they look good so i'm definitely gonna start using that and if you have like 4b 4c i don't have 4c i honestly don't know what curl pattern i have but honestly y'all should try it y'all should give it a shot especially if you want your hair to smell good buy it right now it's 129 and i'm not really like in a rush to get out the house to get my errands done or whatever but I do need to like clean the crib a little bit i need to do some laundry so when i'm done with that i'll probably get back to you guys um when i'm like getting dressed probably or so um and then we'll go from there
So I'm in the car now about to go run my errands. I think the first place that I'm gonna go to is the grocery store because it's the farthest out and then I can just make wake my I can make my way back towards the house um, to do the other things. So I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I wonder how far it's gonna say it is because it's about to be like five and everybody likes to be doing stuff around this time bought this little tripod for my car and it's not even sticky but that's I guess that's what I get for paying eight dollars for it right okay I, f I think I found a new spot to put my camera just for now because I bought this little tripod for my car just to like stick on the dashboard because you know, sometimes I want to vlog and drive and it's not even sticking. Like, I'm sick. But I mean, I guess that's what I get for spending $7 on it. Like, it's definitely, I definitely got my money's worth. But right now I'm on the way to the grocery store. Let me run my windows up. I think it's not that bad right now. It's looking like it's only going to take me eight minutes to get there, which is good. Um, honestly, I should have made a grocery list because that's how you overspend, literally. And when I used to grocery shop, like, I used to, like, plan out, like, what I was going to make for the week and then go and get that stuff, specifically. And then on top of, like, fruits and then vegetables and just other small stuff, like, snacks, like, stuff, like, stuff like that. So, I think I should, like, kind of make a list before I get there because I don't want to overspend in there um and get stuff that i don't need and i also need to think about what i want to make this week because i don't have an, any idea and i've been struggling to like figure it out lately because i haven't really been feeling like cooking for real for real like before like i didn't have a job or anything like that like i had a lot of freedom and flex flexibility to like cook and stuff like that but when I get home I don't feel like doing that so to figure it out I need to honestly figure it out so that way I can like just go get it from the store now instead of buying a bunch of stuff that I don't need and then having to go buy stuff during the week to make dinner right let me think of some stuff hey, you know you fine don't you hey, you know you fine
Oh shit, you make these niggas so nervous. I ain't gonna lie, you bad, bad. You got bad. So I made it to the store and it looks crowded. It looks crowded. Uh, I see a bunch of cars and I see people walking in and out and I'm like, ugh. I didn't think people were about to like go grocery shopping like right now, like on a Saturday at 4.30. But you know, we're just gonna go in there, okay? We're gonna get our stuff done because that's what today is about, right? Getting stuff done. Okay, so it's actually not that many people in here. It's pretty chill, so. I'm good, I'm good. I didn't make a list, but I thought about what I want to make. It should be easy to grocery shop, kind of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. some watermelon. Mm -hmm. That's to get my kombucha, okay? I never had this flavor, so. I'm looking for asparagus. I don't see it, and I'm in, I'm in the vegetable aisle. <sighs> Do I want to get pineapple? Am I gonna eat that? why I forgot to bring my bags I haven't been here in a while I'm not gonna lie but I forgot that they don't give bags like you have to pay for bags and so when she was checking me out I'm just noticing like she was kind of just putting my stuff to the side and then by the time I paid already I'm like oh shit like I don't have bags and I didn't really want to like ask her to buy any because I had already just paid for all of the groceries so I just didn't say anything. <laughs> I just didn't say anything. So now I just have all of my groceries in the front seat. <laughs> because yeah, so I just put all my groceries in the front seat. Um because I didn't want them like moving around, especially the eggs. So that way I can, I can see them. I don't know. That was goofy, alright. That was that was goofy of me, but it's a fine, it's okay. I need to go to Trader Joe's for sure because that's where I grocery shop normally. Um, but they don't be having everything that I need, like just bare necessities because they're, I don't know, they just be having Trader Joe's this, Trader Joe's that. So I just needed to come to a regular grocery store, a traditional grocery store to get some of the stuff that I need. Um, what else do I need to do? I feel like there was something else that I wanted to do. I want to go to Ikea because there's like this little mat that I want to put in front of like my door that opens out to the balcony because it's been raining a lot and I like hate like tracking like water and dirt and stuff like that into the house so I want to put a mat right there so like I can like rub my feet off <laughs> rub my feet rub my shoes off before I come in so I plan on going there so I think I'm gonna go to Sephora first maybe hmm I don't know. I'm gonna figure. I'm gonna figure it out, y'all. I'm gonna figure it out. Hold on. I'm going to Trader Joe's now, and then I think after Trader Joe's, I'm gonna go to IKEA. I'm not gonna go to Sephora. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. You don't need that Milan. <laughs> Even though I want it so bad, but yeah, I'm just gonna go to um, Trader Joe's, and then I'm gonna go to IKEA to pick up the um, the little doormat, and then I'm gonna go home take care of some more business so i really hope it's not crowded at trader joe's because it's like what five right now yeah I don't, it might be and if it is mm, i'd like that trader joe's is so small so it's like i really do hate when it's like crowded because i feel like very like overwhelmed and i already like 
don't really like going out in public by myself so we'll see hopefully it's not too too crowded though look at the trust closing in it's to someone i can depend on yes if it is in love i guess love is okay so you know how that video of mariah the scientist got leaked of her talking to thug in jail me personally i I'm not shaming her for saying that or doing that. It was just cringy to me the way she said it. On top of that, like, she cleared her throat to make it seem like she didn't really want to say that. Or, like, she didn't want Thug to hear her or something like that. I don't know. But it was, like, it was, like, weird. Like, I don't really know how to explain it. Like, I understand, like, females talk to their man like that sometimes. And that's totally understandable. Like, if that's your preference, that's your preference. But, like, she made it weird, I guess. Is that that's what I'm really trying to say? Like she kind of like made it awkward, which gave me secondhand embarrassment. I think that's why people are getting up on her because it's like, girl, if you're gonna say it, say it with some confidence. I think that's why like people are like <laughs> side eyeing her because it's like, girl, just say it with your chest if you're gonna say it. You know? I thought that was funny. Like when I seen it, I'm like, uh, what? what is this like what are we what are we doing here love her though love her music she just gotta she gotta do better <laughs> and my thing is how does something like that even get leaked like that's what i'm trying to figure out like how did that even get leaked because i know she's mad embarrassed i know she gotta be embarrassed because i would be embarrassed i would be embarrassed if something like that about me was on the internet or a video like that of me was on the internet because i don't know she kind of out sat right now but i mean some people are saying like they're not saying nothing because they be talking to their man like that and other people are kind of like that was cringy babe but i don't know i'm kind of in the middle <laughs> i'm not shaming her but the way she went about it was like eh. i'm pulling up to trader joe's in about five minutes so we're going to scope the scenery out. We're going to scope the scenery out. See if it's crowded or not. Because if it is, I'm just, I'm going in there. Grabbing what I need to get and coming right out. I don't have time to play with Joe. I don't. Everybody and their mama want to shop there now. And I get it. I do. You know, people um, have kind of like pushed out this narrative that you need to shop at Trader Joe's. For the aesthetics and this and that me personally like their food is good to me like some of the some of the stuff that i eat like i like so i get my food from there sometimes most of the time i do like full-on grocery shop there but sometimes they don't be having like some of the stuff that i need you know like if you trying to find some regular like Lowry seasoning salt they're not gonna have that so you sometimes you have to go to like a traditional grocery store to find like your traditional things that you need but today i kind of wanted to go grocery shopping somewhere else because this this place that i went to today is cheap for one and for two like i haven't been there in a long time so and i was really 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 down bad like i didn't have no groceries so it was much needed that i just go ahead and stock up on some food for real for real and um then just go to Trader joe's for like things that i like and stuff like that so I just put up and it's no parking it's crowded like I just I hate this for myself but luckily I just pulled up on some people that are leaving so I'm about to park right now but yeah I'm about to be in and out of here because I'm not about to play with nobody nobody <laughs> every time I go to Trader Joe's like I don't know if they're like trained to do this or what but the cashier is like always trying to talk to me like always trying to make short conversation and it, it'd be like it don't be well i don't know to me it'd be a little like awkward especially if it's like a dude it's like i don't like talking to 
I don't like talking to boys. I don't like talking to men. And so, like, every time I go there, the cashier is, like, always trying to just chat. Which is not a bad thing, but I'm very, like, antisocial. So, I'd rather you just not say anything to me. It's 5.42. It's really late. Like, it's about to get dark type. And I'm running my last errand of the day. About to head to Ikea. I'll be there in, like, five minutes. Um, I'm only running in there for one thing, like I said, just to get that mat. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't, like pick up anything else that I don't need. I don't think I need anything else, but it's Ikea, like. Hello. I'm not Ikea. <laughs> Drop me jump right on the curb. Bend this fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Take me my equal on the you Finally found where the rugs are. Or not the rugs, but like the mats. I was uh, I was child. I was in the wrong area. I was on the wrong floor. Like IKEA is a maze. Every time I come here, it's a maze. I found some like right here for two dollars. I think I'm gonna get that blue one, but I'm not sure. if I should get this blue one or not because it don't really match the vibe of my house but it's cheap and I don't really want a brown one I don't know I don't see black so and I don't want to spend it's so hard recording in public y'all <laughs> brown ones right here, but these are too small. These are way too small. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and get the blue one. Okay, so I'm back home now and it was hell trying to get these groceries up here because like I said, I didn't have a bag for, like I was saying, I didn't have a bag um, for my groceries so we had to carry them upstairs um, and I was just like, <laughs> it was too much going on. But yeah, this is everything that I got and I'm pretty much going to clean out my fridge because there's a lot of stuff going on in there and then I'm going to put the new stuff in there. Um, and then just put like everything away.
get some work done. I told myself that when I come back from running my errands, like I wanna get the rest of my homework done for the weekend and then also some work done um, that's due next week. That way when I go out of town, like I don't have to worry about any homework or anything like that. So also I wanna edit this video so that I can get it out for you guys on Sunday. So I'm about to be grinding in here for just a little minute, honestly. Um, it's hella hot in here though like it's it's like really like <laughs> it's really hot and like musky in here like it's not musty but it's like it's kind of hot in here but yeah i'm about to grind a little bit and hopefully i can get a lot of work done It's like 7.57. I've been editing this video since like 6.30. I'm almost done, kind of. But yeah, I just want to come here because I didn't close out the video yesterday. I just want to tell you guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching me. Make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe. Until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.